Hi, in this motion picture I'm going to be teaching you guys about mouse methods. Now what mouse methods are is basically when your mouse does something it will register and that will trigger something in your code. Now all of these because they are methods need E in the parentheses after their name. Now for function move I say that we do coordinates so we do var txt actually you know we're gonna put this up in the start function so var txt equals new text and we're going to leave this blank and you will see why in a second and we're gonna do 15 point aerial and we're going to do var txt so we can use this over multiple functions txt dot set position let's go and it's 0 040 oops and what we want to do now is add txt and now we want to set the text to e.get x is a new concept also it's basically um, the x coordinate of your mouse and e dot get y is the mouse or no sorry e dot get x is not the mouse coordinate of your um of your mouse or I mean it is the x coordinate and get y is the y coordinate sorry about that and so when we run this we should actually I uh, know, that's fine. Um, uh, oh, I had quotations messed up over here. Now, ah, uh, well, maybe if we put it in the global variables, that'll fix it. Hey, there we go. You just gotta mess around with things sometimes. Alright, now. Now what do we want to do? We, we want to click. And so we're going to do mouse click method. Click. And... What do we want to happen when we click? We want, let's, let's say we want to make a circle. So var circle equals new circle radius of fifty circle dot set position um we're gonna set it at e dot get x because that's where the mass is gonna be and e dot get y. We want to set it where our mouse is going to be. So go that set color color dot. Mm, let's go green. And then we're going to add circle. Now, when we click, uh, so. I figured out the problem it was these things were just messing they're just messing up and so now when we run it our coordinates pop up and when we click we have we have a circle pop up now when we drag our mouse we want something to happen and 
and what I think should happen is we should drag our circle so what we need to do is we need to save our git lm and this is a brand new concept too it's element which is basically if there's something there then it will register which would be so like get element at e dot get x comma e dot get y and then we want to say get lm no 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 we we want to say if get lm is not equal to null which is nothing then we want it to move so get lm dot set position e dot get x comma e dot get y and this should um that we should be able to drag our I figured out our problem. I didn't even put drag in here. Like, what am I doing? And so now we can drag it all around the screen. We can make multiple. We can drag this one. We can drag this one. We can drag this one. Okay. Now function up and function down. So to distinguish these for these I will use squares instead of circles actually I'll probably just comment out clicking because they'll both pop up at once so method mouse down method down and mouse up method up and so we're going to say var square equals new rectangle and uh, 200 by 150, 150, and square. That set position. E dot get x, comma e dot get y, and square dot set color. Color dot. Mm. Let's go. Let's go purple. And then we're gonna add square. And that is going to place a square once you click down, but once you not when you click down, but when you come up, that's when it's going to place a square. Now. These are both going to happen at relatively the same time. So we need to comment out all of these because they're just going to get in the way of everything except for up and down. And for down, let's, hmm, thinking we do. Oh, I have an idea. We take all of this and we put it in here. We make this a global variable. And now when it comes up, we should actually probably put this under down. And what we're going to do is we're going to do square dot set color color dot yellow. 
uh, let's make it red to make it more visible and so basically what's going to happen is when you click down it's going to place a square wherever you, you click and this will be in the corner so we can do plus square or excuse me minus square dot get width divided by 2 and minus square dot get height divided by 2 so once we run this we click down and it's purple and when we lift up it's red if you don't believe me I will put my mic up to the mouse so you can hear it click down and then release and so if we run this all at once that's going to be freaking chaotic it's going to be a lot of stuff happening yeah it's, it's just a mess ah <sighs> so anyways i hope i explained mouse methods pretty well <laughs>